Hi, I'm Ed Joyce. I'm the principal of the Ross A. Lurgio Middle School. Thanks for dropping in and joining me for a tour of our school. So when you first come into the building, one of the first places you see is the Lurgio main office. In the main office are our secretary, our clerk, also our assistant principals, and my office, as well as our school resource officer. This is a place where you can come in if you have to get notes signed, if you forget something at home and a parent has to bring something into you, this is your place. So come on in and we're always happy to help. Right across from our main office is our guidance office. In the guidance office, you'll find our guidance counselors as well as our guidance clerk. Over their two years here at Lurgio, most of our students do access their guidance counselor. Could be for something as simple as an academic reason, like registering for a course, but sometimes it's a, about a social reason that a student might be having a hard time navigating. So regardless of the issue, your guidance counselors are here for you to help you navigate middle school. Also just inside the main entrance here is our nurse's office. So our school nurse services all our students' health needs. She's located right here, right across from both the main office and the guidance office. Students that might have medical needs or medications can keep them with the nurse to take. And sometimes she's just there in case you're not feeling well and she'll help you out if you need to call home and maybe even go home sick. But it's a full service nursing station and they really are super helpful when you need them most. Now let's go into the core area of Lurgio. And this is where the students spend the majority of their time with their pods or their teaching teams. Finding your way around Lurgio is not that hard if you know the trick. All the pods are color coded. And as soon as you walk in, here's the map. You have your east pod or your gold pod. You have your green pod. You have your red pod and your blue pod. One other thing is they also line up on the cardinal compass points. So gold is also east, green is south, red is west, and north is blue. And if you look at the color palette that was chosen for each one, they actually represent a season. So the, try and see that as you're kind of coming through the building. You can see all of the different colors and where your pod is. Now I'd like to show you the pod area. In the pod areas is where the students will spend the majority of their time during the day. It's also a place where they have one of their most prized things here at Lurgio, which is their own locker. So in the locker, <laughs> you have enough space for a coat, uh, your books, and maybe some other uh, personal items that you might have for maybe an after school sport or the like. All the lockers have locks on them and only the students know the combinations to them. So it's a nice secure location for their belongings as well. As we come further into the pod, you're gonna notice that there's a number of doors, a number of classrooms that feed into this area. You've got your social studies, your math, your science, and your English language arts classes that are all based out of this area where the students keep their belongings. But there's also a fifth kind of bonus area to every pod, and that's this area here. There's a nice bench here uh, and some additional benches, uh, as well as a whiteboard and also a bulletin board. That whiteboard could be used for instruction, but many times it also co contains the schedule for the day so the students know where they're going or maybe even just get a reminder of something that they need to bring to class. Out in each pod area also there is a printer. So if students are printing out uh, assignments or anything for their classes, they can come right out here to conveniently access that. This is the Lurgio Media Center. And this place is the heart of the school. And it is usually hopping from early in the morning until the afternoon. It's chock full of books and our librarian would be happy to help any student find a book of their choice that they would truly enjoy. Also contained in the media center is our tech corner. And because our students are one-to-one -one with their Chromebooks, we also need to be able to help you keep those Chromebooks running. So students can access the tech corner either through the main entrance or there's a separate tech corner entrance uh, to bring down your Chromebooks. And if you have any kind of issue, you can always come on down and our people in the tech corner would be happy to keep you up and running with your technology. A series of courses that takes our students out of their pods is the Integrated Arts series. Those courses are Family and Consumer Science, Art, 
music, technology education, health, and physical education. There are very popular series of courses as the students tend to be up and about doing projects and being very hands-on. Right now I'm in the Family and Consumer Science Food Lab and you can see there's stoves to my right and to my left and this is a very popular course with the students as they prepare and then consume the food that they produce. One of the advantages of grouping our students into pods or teaching teams is that we can create small schools within the school. Lurgio is a very big school. We have about 800 students in the two grades of 7th and 8th. But by creating teaching teams, we group the same 100 students with the same four teachers for the core academic subjects. And that allows our teachers to really get to know our students and our students to really get to know their teachers. Those teachers plan together to create a day that's cohesive and sensitive to the needs of their students. We aren't just teaching students their academics, we're also trying to meet their social emotional needs as well. Well hello, you found me in the lost and found. Students may lose things throughout the day, throughout the building, or even on a sports field. And that's what this lost and found comes in for. Items are returned here and students can find them. This is a particularly popular area for parents, as many times we have after school parents visit to find lost belongings of their children. Periodically throughout the year, as things are found, we do clean out lost and found and make donations to our local charities to pay forward some of these nice belongings that were lost. The Lurgio Middle School core area actually has two floors. The first floor is for the eighth grade, while the second floor is for the seventh. Just take the stairwells up and you'll be on the second, seventh grade floor. Also throughout the building, you're gonna notice a lot of artwork, our students' artwork. As they go through, you'll see murals that are spread throughout the building. So I'm standing outside the Lurgio Gymnasium. A big part of our students' education is physical education, which our students are active. At least two out of every six days, our students are involved in a physical education class. That's all year round. The Lurgio Gymnasium is a beautiful facility with great wooden floors and the students really enjoy it. Gymnasiums also used after school for a variety of activities and events. We have basketball teams, wrestling matches that take place in there, as well as volleyball matches. Welcome to the Lurgio Dining Hall. Students come down here for lunch every day. Really important to our students and the lunches are delicious. You can find those lunch menus online as well. Students sit at round tables with eight seats around them that are already built in. But students, don't worry if you have an extra friend or a few. We have stools that they can grab, put down at the table, and join their friends. The students have a variety of options when they're in the dining hall. They can choose from a hot lunch. There's also a sandwich line, as well as some salad offerings, and a snack bar. But students are always welcome to bring lunch from home and eat with their friends. As with the entire building and in the dining hall, there is a water bottle filler so students can be hydrated and fill their water bottles while they eat their lunch. Lurgio doesn't slow down at 315. After school, many of our students engage in either sports, clubs, activities, or the arts. We have a multitude of sports teams in which many students participate in every year. They do well, they get trophies, but there's bigger rewards that they get out of every sports season. I'd like to take a moment to introduce you to your assistant principal, Mrs. Gothier. Mrs. Gothier will loop with you for both seventh and eighth grade while you're here at Lurgio. And she is going to be one of your major contacts and supports throughout these two years. Hi, I'm Mrs. Gothier, and I'm one of the assistant principals here at Lurgio Middle School. I'm here to talk to you a little bit about advisory. Recently, we started an advisory program here at Lurgio. Advisory is when one teacher meets with 10 to 12 students every other day, and we do a variety of activities. The really neat thing about advisory is you get to be with these people and the teacher for two years, seventh and eighth grade. It gives you an adult connection in the building outside of your pod, and it also helps you get to know people you may not otherwise come in contact with. Advisory has been a really great addition to the building, and we're really excited to have you join in the fun. There's something for everyone here at Lurgio when it comes to extracurriculars. We have a variety of activities, clubs, and sports for you to join. We have fall sports, winter sports, and spring sports. 
So it's a great opportunity for you to try something new or practice something you already know and get ready for sports at the high school. In addition, our clubs are extensive. We have a very long list. There's something for everyone. Don't see something you like? Then come on down and ask us about it. All it takes is an advisor and another student and you can start a club. Good afternoon, rising seventh grade students. I'm Mr. Fellman, and I want to take a minute to introduce myself. I'm one of the assistant principals here at the Lurgio Middle School, along with Mrs. Gothier, the other assistant principal. Um, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit from my office today about what it means uh, to be an assistant principal at Lurgio. Uh, many students have the misunderstanding that assistant principals, uh, when you get called to our offices, uh, you're being disciplined or you're getting in trouble. That is not the way it works here. Oftentimes, I have kids down in the office just to chat, to find out what's going on in the, in the school, uh, and to see how they're doing. So being called to the office does not mean you're in trouble, and I want to squash that uh, misunderstanding right from the outset. Um, that doesn't mean that every student's perfect all the time. Uh, students in seventh and eighth grade, they make mistakes, and sometimes we have to address those mistakes. Uh, but you need to understand that that's never about punishment. Our goal with student behavior is always to help students understand what the expectations are, and to help them meet those expectations. So don't be scared of us. Uh, we're nice down here. Uh, we love to chat with kids. I love just getting together with kids. We can talk about all of my little hobbies and knickknacks in the background. I'm sure you have some wonderful interests of your own, and I love hearing about those. So I really look forward to inviting everyone back into the buildings this fall and to getting to meet you face to face uh, and to getting to know you over the next two years. Have a great day. Many students, when they enter Lurgio, have lots of questions. Uh, questions about lunch, could be about their classes, could be about lockers. And while as an adult, I could answer those questions for you in a really informative way, I think they come off as more genuine and more informative to our students when they come from other students. So no, you won't have the same classes every single day but you'll have the same classes every other day. And your classes are set up on a silver day, red day schedule. And then they're also set up on a days one through six schedule. And basically your IAs and your world languages, you'll have IA one day and your world language the other day. And then you'll also have two days out of the six day rotation. You'll also have gym class. Say just don't be afraid to ask because Lurgio is a big job it's a huge school and stuff so if you're lost or something ask like a teacher or something because you don't want to just be stuck walking around not knowing where you are where you have to go yes you do get to see most of your friends during lunch tables are not just limited to eight seats you can pull up a stool for that one person who what had to get the lunch tray and was late to the table but you can they can pull up a stool so that way everyone can be included and you can all talk and enjoy your lunch. Lunch, you can sit wherever you want. The only thing is there are two separate lunches. So sometimes you'll be with your friends, sometimes you are. It's really luck of the draw at that point. But I've had, I've had a few of my friends at lunch, so that you normally sometimes will get a friend. And sometimes if not, you can make new friends too. It's not too big of a deal. A lot of people have questions about like if phones are allowed or not. We can use our phones, but if you use lunch to just be on your phone, you're not really having that contact with your friends and like enjoying your time. Since you are allowed to have your phone during lunch, you don't want to be on it the entire time. You want to spend time with your friends because they're not going to be there forever. No, you do not have to buy a Chromebook. For example, I don't have a Chromebook. You get it at the library every morning and then you bring it back at the end of the day. There's a tech corner in the library and you can, if there's a malfunction or your Chromebook won't turn on for some reason, I've had that a couple of times, and sometimes they just need their magical fingers, but sometimes there's actually something wrong, and they can bring it to get fixed, and then you can pick it up later. Yes, all the teachers are very helpful and fun. All the teachers at Lurgio are so fun and they like they truly care about you. And I would say that the most fun thing that we did for science class was at the end of the year in seventh grade, we got to build rockets and then we went down to the baseball fields and we got to shoot them, which I think you also do in sixth grade. But in seventh grade, you get a lot more freedom and it's really fun. I like dances. 
And I like fan club, I like best buddies, and I like music, I like APE, I like basketball, and all this sort of stuff. stuff. At Lurgio, there's so many different clubs and sports. I was part of the tennis team, and there's fall tryouts and there's spring tryouts. As far as clubs, you can join band, or there's um, like craft club and CBY, and there's a bunch of um, leadership clubs too that you can join that are really good. I did the student council with the Stefano for both years. I was in chorus and I did the drama club, which they have a spring musical every year. I was also in track last year and cross country both years. Track is in the spring and cross country is in the fall. There's like tons and tons to choose from. I don't know if I can name a club that they don't have. There's a lot of clubs that you can choose from and some of them are really fun. I did TSA, that's Technology Student Association. I did CBY for a little while and I did Art Club for a little while. I'd also like to take the opportunity to introduce some other school-wide staff. These are people that help out all of the students in the school and are pretty important to your success here at Lurgio. Your guidance team they are assigned to you by your last name. So if your last name is A through G, you have Mr. Miller. If your last name is H through R, you have Mrs. Demers. And if your last name is S through Z, you have Ms. LaRue. Two faces that are going to greet you when you walk into the main office at Lurgio are Mrs. Fitzgerald and Mrs. Cronin. They're there to help everyone. In fact, when you call on the phone, those are the voices that you're hearing. Thank you for joining me for a tour of Lurgio. We hope you have a great summer and can't wait to get you in our school next fall. Have a great summer.
We can dig it high.